it's our last day in Tai Taiwan and Taipei. And we're leaving tomorrow morning. Well, tomorrow afternoon. It's uh, we've had a great time actually. Yeah, um, and we're really sad to leave. Like we don't want to leave. We say that about every place, and it is <laughs> it is true. But Taipei's been really really nice. Um, it's a very calm city. It's very nice. Very relaxing, clean, and modern, and it's 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 great. The whole of Taiwan, uh, or what we've seen of it. Um, so today we're going to go back to the Chiang Kai Shek Memorial. Um, I took demo there yesterday. Yes. Uh, we realised that underneath the big statue um, is like a whole other section we didn't show you, and there's an audio tour about some interesting history that I want to. Which we really want to do. <laughs> that uh, we really want to do. Learning about um, it basically says how Taipei or how Taiwan got their freedom of speech. So. Yeah. But first. Breakfast. We have arrived. They have a train station, MRT, that takes you straight into the uh, building. They're obviously having an event here at some point soon. They're setting all this stuff up. Kind of ruins the look. That's what we're here for. So you get distracted by the big thing, big opening there. If you come around the side, we want to go in here. No, I meant like... See, it's a massive thing. Underneath the massive thing. <laughs> Right, where's the audio guide? So we've come here for this, the permanent exhibition hall. Um, and you can see here, Taiwan's long walk to freedom of speech. If you just go to the left of this hall, where that brown desk is here, they basically give you free, they give you free audio guides. So it's free. So we just finished the audio tour for Chang, uh, for the freedom of speech um, portion. It took about an hour. Yeah. Uh, and there's another portion that tells you about, I think, the history of Chiang Kai-shek, which is the was the leader of um, the Republic of China. So I don't know whether we're going to do that. We'll see.
we just finished the two exhibitions, the Walk of Freedom and the Chang uh, Kai Shek. In total, it took us like, uh, I want to say like mm, an hour and 40 minutes. It was like an hour for the first exhibition, half an hour for the second exhibition. Um, so maybe an hour and a half. The lady says it takes you three hours. I guess as if you read everything. But if you listen to the audio guide, it's about an hour and a half. Really, really interesting. Uh, obviously, there's sad parts as well. A bit confusing. Uh, I would like to look into the history of um, mainland China and, um, and the politics behind it now because they've they've left me with a lot of questions. Do you know what I mean? But if you're in Taipei, definitely worth it. As I said, it's only an hour and a half. You could just do the first part of an hour if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, definitely worth it. So hopefully, we're going to go now up the. Uh, observation tower. It's like Taipei 101. So yeah, we're gonna make our way there. You see, it's a beautiful. It's such a nice day. This is ruining us for China because uh, it's supposed to be like fucking freezing in China now, where we're going. So we're really gonna feel it. So we didn't go up the tower. It was like 30 pounds, 15 pounds each. Yeah, and I know it's not that bad, but we're trying to save money. We're still traveling, you know? Yeah, we, don't, we really didn't want to spend the money on it. So we went drinking instead. <laughs> we're out drinking. I just bought that. Went to a food market stall. I bought this. It's like French toast, but I got a spice on it. It's fucking banging. I like it. Very spicy, my mouth is on fire. <laughs> this is a Chinese burger, apparently. We will see. The demo's getting cheese corn. <laughs> Cheese corn, bro. Honestly, it's kind of bland without this red liquid, which is kind of like a spicy sauce. Without that, I wouldn't have enjoyed it, but it's nice with the sauce. 